Well, the referendum must go on. A defiant President Mohamed Morsi addressing Egypt just moments ago. He called for dialogue with opposition parties on Saturday and expressed sorrow over recent bloodshed. But he stressed that violence will not be tolerated. Although we respect the uh, right of, of expression, uh, peaceful expression, but I will never allow that anyone should refer to, refer to murder and sabotage. I will not allow anyone to refer to that. Well, his speech comes a day after rival clashes left six people dead and over 600 injured. Well, earlier today, tanks moved in to clear the area around the presidential palace of protesters. And tonight, the protesters are back with passions running high on the streets of Cairo once again. Let's get you straight to CNN's Reza Sayer, who's in Cairo for you tonight. Reza, you are overlooking the front of the presidential palace. Many of those who are there will have heard President Morsi's speech in just what he finished up about a half hour ago. What's the mood like there? Well, what's clear, Becky, is that the president's speech did not win over this crowd behind us. These are the opposition factions, the president's uh, critics. And based on what we heard in the president's speech and based on the reaction from this crowd, I think this conflict is going to continue is going to continue. I think a lot of people were anxious to see if the president would back down from his position, and clearly he did not. What this speech appeared to be was part call for calm, part call for all these factions to get together and talk, and it was also part stern warning to the protesters who turned to violence, the president saying, I respect the freedom of expression, but I will not allow anyone to murder and sabotage and scare the citizens of Egypt. The president condemned the violence and said the perpetrators will not go unpunished. He also called for the leaders of all these different political factions, even those of the opposition, to meet him at the presidential palace on Saturday to discuss this conflict and the current turmoil. And he tried to give reassurances about those controversial decrees that he announced last week. These are the declarations that really sparked this conflict. Once again, he tried to uh, reassure the opposition that this was not a power grab, that these decrees will be eliminated and canceled once the national referendum on the Constitution takes place uh, on December 15th. However, that message, that effort to reassure the opposition, not working with this particular crowd, we're still hearing chants of leave, 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 Becky. Mm.